phone right here. You know, I've been known to take the odd selfie. Uh, I've been known to filter it, and even though I'm a natural beauty occasionally, I feel that I, I'll use technology to, you know, I can't just believe it's ever necessary. Gild, no, Vanessa. gild the lily just a little tiny bit. You know, people do crop pictures to make them, you know, make them central when you're not central. They, you know, they'll put a light in somebody's eyes if they if their eyes are looking dull and dreary. They'll do all kinds of things, a halo of light behind. You know, most people, lots of people, me included, know how to do that on a phone. Now, when we do, we're not exactly lying. We're not really trying to deceive anyone. All we're trying to do is make the picture look a little better so that if we've, if we've uh, you know, chopped our toes off, we make sure that we, you know, move, move the thing around so it's just kind of the top half of our body, not the whole body, because we look silly with our toes missing that we didn't fit in the picture. That kind of a thing. It's not a conspiracy. We're not trying to portray something false. We're just trying to portray what we've taken a picture of in its best possible light. And I just wonder whether all this fuss and furore is really caused by the utterly obnoxious trolls who have attacked the Princess of Wales over the last few months and they should hang their heads in shame. She's been very ill, she's convalescing, they should leave her alone and they should wish her well, instead of which they've peddled and dealt in horrible conspiracy theories. Where is Kate? You know, what is really wrong with her? All kinds of things that are none of their business in a very cruel and unkind way way and I wonder whether all of this is kind of fueled and 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 kind of nourished by that nastiness and if it is I don't like really like talking about it that much and when this image was released yesterday I thought what a lovely photograph mm. of Kate and her three children and how wonderful to see her looking so well then of course amateur sleuths online picked up on a number of issues with the photograph um my attitude was, oh, leave them alone. They've put out the photo to mark Mother's Day. The problem is that the stakes on this photo were so very high because this was the first image we've seen of the Princess of Wales since Christmas Day and the first we've seen of her officially since that operation. And so many people wanted to see that she was doing well, mm. but also that this was sent out to news agencies. And those news agencies have a code of conduct that images that have been manipulated in any way are not to be used and they don't accept them. And therefore we had these five highly respected major news agencies issuing kill notice. So this went from being online speculation and conspiracy theories to actually something rather more significant. And I think that's why Kensington Palace had no option but to address this today with that personal statement uh, from the Princess of Wales issuing an apology. But is the pivotal word here manipulated? Because you could imagine a picture being manipulated, for example, to show that somebody who wasn't there was there. You know, you can Photoshop mm. somebody in, they weren't there at all, they were actually far away in, you know, New York, but you make them look as if they're in London, they're not. You would say that's manipulating. Or somebody who has, let's say, uh, some kind of, illness that might show being kind of body manipulated so, or put behind a tree or something comes in front of them so they can't see, you can't see what, what, what it is that's afflicting the person, that kind of thing. You might say, that's manipulation, mm. you're deceiving people. But if it's just kind of finding the picture with the best children, with the best smile, the one in which they're standing up nice and straight. They've all got the, their eyes open. The, exactly, the one in which they've all got their eyes open. They're not fighting. Does that count as manipulation? <laughs> And, and that's the most likely explanation here, that it's a clumsy Photoshop job to try and get the best possible photo of all of them. And those photos have been merged together. But the problem is we don't know. And now, uh, you know, there is something like 12 different areas on the photograph that look like they're not quite as they should be. And so people are asking questions and you can't necessarily explain them away with rational explanations once you start to question, well, am I being given an honest and true portrayal here? And the statement from the Princess of Wales, um, very calmly put, very well meant, mm. but it doesn't answer the questions, when was this photograph taken? Was it indeed taken last week at Windsor Castle, for example? Did they say it was? Well, the photograph credit says, Prince of Wales, 2024, okay. uh, and the palace brief that it had been taken by William last week at Adelaide Cottage. Mm -hmm. uh, and so when you start to question this, and it is about trust, are we getting an honest representation here? And we don't know those answers yet. Now, they could be answered by them releasing the unedited version of the photograph, but they don't 
want to at this stage. Um, you know, it, it's a real shame because it should have been a lovely moment and I, I'm certain it was well intended uh, to say, look, everybody wanted to see, here I am, let's quieten down the speculation, we're all doing okay and let's get on with Catherine's recovery. Let's talk to Afia about this. Afia, what, what are you seeing when you're seeing this debacle, this furore about this so-called manipulated photo that had to be killed? Isn't it just what all of us pretty much do every day, which is just get the good bit from the picture and the good bit from the other picture and try and make it look like a harmonious whole and maybe Kate's not the world's best photo editor or photoshopper, so, you know, there are a few errors. We know that even Kim Kardashian, who's one of the best, uh, uh, you know, photo fiddler, bad fiddler is about within the entire world, <laughs> has occasionally been caught out, hasn't she? And she's got one leg longer than the other or something. The stairs behind her have disappeared or something. Um, and she's the first to laugh at it and say, oh, yeah, well, I was having a go at photoshopping and it didn't work out that well. But it's not the same as it is manipulation. What do you see going on here? There's a couple of things at play here. First, this speaks to the pressure that clearly the Princess of Wales felt that this photo had to be quote unquote perfect. That she had to get the best shot of herself, of the kids, of our hair looking glossy, of Charlotte sitting in the right place, of Louis laughing accordingly. She felt that the picture had to be of a certain standard because she hasn't been seen for so long. And because of course there are those rumors swirling on every corner of the internet. But this is also about trust. People are now thinking thinking to themselves, look, if we can't trust the images that are being put out by Kensington Palace in this instance, then what else can we not trust from them? Does that mean we cannot trust what they're saying about this, what they're saying about another thing? It just casts doubt onto all of that. And also the Kensington Palace PR and comms team seem to be asleep at the wheel here. I feel that uh, the Princess of Wales has been thrown under the bus somewhat in the fact that, you know, she's made the apology. She has signed it off with C. It means it's personally from her. And I think actually Kensington Palace need to take charge of this situation a bit more. Let's remember we're talking about a woman who is, like you so rightly said, Vanessa, convalescing. She's had major surgery. She's still recovering. Now she has to deal with all this drama circulating. This should be up to her PR and comms team to take the heat for her and to take the heat off her. But instead, if I feel like she's been thrown under the bus, and I feel sorry for her at this point, that she is having to deal with all of this. Look, the Kensington PR and comms team are absolutely asleep at the wheel. They have definitely um, shaken our trust in what they are putting out there. And frankly, I, I'll put it out there that, that you need to get better staff. Like literally, you cannot get the staff at this point. This whole thing could have been avoided because there's so much furore online already. Now it's made its way to main, the front of mainstream newspapers. It didn't need to be that way. It didn't need to have escalated this much. That's what the PR and comms team are there to do. But instead of actually quelling the fire, they've just fueled it. I'm, I'm still in shock. You've, you've both, Sarah and Afia, you've both used the word trust. You've both said, well, can mm. you really trust it? Mm. But can you not trust? It's a photograph of Kate and the children that's been slightly revved up or slightly perfected? Why, why does that if destroy trust? we get the trust, answers that it though? has been slightly edited, and that's what we don't really know But that's know what she said. Point. She said, I've edited it a bit, didn't Yes, she? she did, and they say they are minor alterations. Yes. Um, but it is, it is about that relationship between the palace giving us information, and that information is more important than ever at the moment because we've got two members of the royal family who are out of sight, so we're relying on that communications team to brief us and to tell us accurately, and then we take that, we continue to report that to the public. Yeah. If we take on that information and we report it to the public in good faith, but actually... We're not passing on the truth about it. But it's not information, that... is it? I mean, if you look at a, at a Vogue cover shoot, or any magazine cover, actually, or any magazine feature, you know, the photograph is a photograph. You can trust it. It's a photograph of mm. the person it's supposed to be of. They haven't got a body double in there. It is that person. But my God, they have lit it. They have backlit it. They have filtered it. They have put something on the lens, in post, as they call it. I've, had, I've got how many uh, photo shoots have I been uh, in where they say, oh, don't worry, we'll sort that out in post. We'll sort that out in post. So what's being sorted out in post? They're taking out a 
spot, they're taking out a wrinkle, they're taking out a, a bit where, the, where the, the, you know, there's a bit of thread hanging off that the dress. That doesn't pass the test for news agencies and that is why this became more than just online tittle-tattle and online speculation. And that's why this became more serious and why you then see it on the front page of the newspapers and the Telegraph newspaper even, you know, talking about doctored images. That is damaging in terms of trust in believing what we are told. And, and the thing is, <clears throat> excuse me, Vanessa, mm. this didn't need to be this way. Actually, they could have stuck to the message that they were telling us all of last week mm. that you know, the statement continues, the Princess of Wales is recovering until after Easter, mm -hmm. nothing changes. <coughs> do you think, I'll speak to Afia because you're coughing yeah. away there, you poor thing. Um, Afia, do you think that Prince William should say something, something like, you know, quite honestly, anybody who tries to take a photograph for Christmas for their Christmas card with young children knows it's an absolute living nightmare to get them all to smile in the right way, look at the right place, stand up straight, keep their tongues inside their mouths, you know, not suddenly spit out a big glob of chewing gum right in the middle of the thing. It's a nightmare. So that's why Kate took three or four pictures, or we, I took three or four pictures of Kate at once, and we decided to incorporate picture two and picture three, but we weren't trying to pull the wool over anyone's eyes. We were just trying to give a pretty picture for Mother's Day. Do you think they need one more statement to just calm everyone down, something of that kind? If that's what happened, then yes, he would do well to say that. I actually think probably this whole thing is too far gone. And actually, everybody's going to see alternative meanings in absolutely everything. You know, if we if we had Prince William saying that tomorrow, people would be saying, oh my goodness, he's trying to make excuses for what happens. And if he didn't say anything at all, people will say he was staying silent. He's not, you know, sticking up for the Princess of Wales and, and not saying anything about it. I think actually... We need to just let this die down and, and, and maybe silence is golden in this in this instance. But this, it didn't have to be this way. It didn't have to get this far. This absolutely could have been quelled ages ago, you know, or without a photoshopped image or, you know, without, you know, we had that terrible paparazzi shot that came out um, last week, last week, Monday. You know, of course, that's something that the palace can't control. But I think if we didn't have this Photoshop image that poured fuel on this fire, we didn't have to get here in the first place. So I actually don't know at this point what would stop this madness from going on. Right, well, thank you very much, Afia. I just have a final word from you, Sarah. What next? Because, because we had been told we weren't going to see the Princess of Wales at all. We weren't going to see her till Easter. And I think people were quite calm with that, although there was this kind of mm. speculation, fear of speculation. They've obviously tried to quell the speculation, it ended up making it worse. Mm. Afia is probably quite right when she says, no, Prince William shouldn't come out and say anything. No one should. This has gone too far as it is. But what next? Well, I think there are some consequences that will come over uh, the course of the next few weeks and months, one of those being potential reconsideration of the use of private photographs taken by private right. individuals and public figures uh, rather than using uh, an independent accredited photojournalist, mm. for example. I think certainly news agencies might be looking at that policy. Uh, also today, in the immediate term, it has certainly overshadowed an important day for the Royal Family, Commonwealth Day at Westminster Abbey. That's been taking place this afternoon, but what is everybody talking about this photograph? I think it's a real shame. It was designed to show people that everything was okay, a lovely photograph of a family, mm. but unfortunately it has backfired.